it was drastically cut in the last session, and um, what's odd about it is the part that uh, the Republican leadership focused on uh, undocumented citizens and other immigrants was not apparent to most people because this negotiation happened kind of in the dead of night. If you recall, it was a special session, and uh, the negotiations were going on between the governor's office and the Republican leadership, and the Democratic leadership, including my own senator at the time, Senator Linda Berglund, who was an expert in this whole area, were kept outside of the room where the negotiations were going on. They were not even allowed to participate in any way. So there was language inserted that drastically affected emergency medical assistance, but it wasn't apparent because sometimes those um, numbers of the statutes and so on, they're known by the people who are working with them very closely, mm -hmm. but they're not necessarily known by others who are less familiar. I got word from um, people in the immigrant community and especially those who work with undocumented uh, Minnesotans telling me that um, they were aware that people were going to be cut off uh, and that there was this big fear because people who are on dialysis, people who are receiving chemotherapy drugs for cancer, people who may be receiving psychiatric medications for mental illness, mm -hmm. uh, other kinds of chemical dependency services, all these things that, you know, insulin for diabetes, these things that are really important to sustain life. Um, were all going to be eliminated, and when I called, I called the governor's office right away to try to find out what was going on. When was that? Uh, it was in December, or okay. maybe the end of November. You know, I called the governor's office, and the governor's office said they had not known about this. Um, the I called the commissioner's office, both uh, I and uh, the, my new senator Jeff Hayden at the time. We both called the commissioner of human services office. Um, we tried to talk to people in all the different areas. We talked to our own legislators here. You know, uh, and the picture became clear again that the DFLers had been cut out of the negotiations. The people who were negotiating it from the Republican leadership and the um, Department of Human Services, you know, new administration, weren't as clear about what some of the, these uh, changes that were being proposed meant. And so even when I talked later with uh, uh, Representative Abler, he said these were some unintended consequences. We didn't mean necessarily to cut everybody on emergency medical assistance off of dialysis. I, of course, am very concerned about uh, undocumented people who were, uh, as I understand it, the intention was to cut them off. Uh, the intention maybe wasn't to cut off uh, some of the other immigrant mm -hmm. uh, Minnesotans. Um, but even so, I think some of our Republican leadership were a little bit appalled to realize how serious this would be. Cannot imagine how many people would have to die to change this law. I know that there have been at least one death I know of, a person who was in a nursing home when they when the emergency medical assistance was cut off. They were taken to Hennepin County because the nursing home said they're not being paid for anymore. We can't keep them here. And that person died. It's really horrible and it's just inhumane. You know, we're in the final weeks of the <laughs> legislative session. <laughs> um, you know, I hope that compassion and humanitarian uh, support will be forthcoming. I think that is the intention of many legislators. It's certainly the intention of the DFLers who have been working on this. Um, and the governor, of course, has been concerned about this. I think most of us in Hennepin County are happy to pay for emergency medical assistance for anyone, including undocumented immigrants who are hardworking people, uh, contributing to our tax base, paying their own, their own taxes, being uh, doing some of the work that others uh, don't choose to do. Same thing Ramsey County, but I have big concerns about what happens uh, out in rural Minnesota, where again we have many hardworking um, undocumented Minnesotans.